Hello everybody, this is from Milwaukee to Nashville for your ninth day in a row. Oh, uh, like 29th, it seems like it. Yeah. When, when, all right, let's uh, do the commercial. Do all it. right, this is uh, from Milwaukee to Nashville, hockey podcast covering everything uh, Milwaukee Admirals and Nashville Predators related. Our show is brought to you by the wonderful folks at Hockey Locker, 2002 West Howard Avenue, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. You can uh, also call them at 414-800-7585 or visit HockeyLockerMilwaukee.com. You can get all your hockey necessities. Uh, you can get your referee gear. You can get your roller hockey stuff. You can get your uh, skate sharpened if you're a figure skater or if you just like ice skating for fun. Uh, if you spend money on CCM gear, you get what? Uh, spend hundred dollars, you get two free Admirals tickets. You spend four, uh, you spend two, uh, two hundred dollars, you get four free Admirals tickets, and you spend five hundred dollars, and you'll get eight. If you spend money at the store, tell them that we sent you. If you don't spend money, we don't know you. <laughs> All right, guys. Like I was saying, our Admirals beat the, oh, wrong team. Um, Predators beat uh, the Admirals beat the Moose. Yeah, yeah the Admirals beat the uh, the Admirals beat the Winnipeg Moose. <laughs> now the Predators beat the Jets uh, 1-0. UC Soros gets the shutout. His first of the season, eighth of his career. Yep, that's not really a stick tap, but good job, Juice. Or um, Juice. Um, Carrier did play. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Anyways, our shots on goal are uh, 32-28 the Predators. Uh, face-off percentage was 54 for the Jets, 46 for Nashville. Uh, both teams were 0 for on the power play. The Predators were 0 for 1. The Jets were 0 for 2. Uh, penalty minutes were 4 for the Predators, 2 for the Jets. The Jets did a lot of hitting today. Um, I think they were angry. <laughs> yeah, uh, they, had 30, they were getting frustrated. Yeah, they had 30 hits and the Predators had 17. Uh, Predators had 18 block shots. Uh, Jets had 13. Uh, the Jets had 16 giveaways and the Predators had 8. So, would you consider that the fact that they were hitting and taking, considering more of playing the body than actually trying to get the puck back, considering to the Jets' loss at this point? Because they got yeah. mad because the Predators were playing stingy well, defense. Well, I also warned people that this was going to be a physical game because whenever the Predators and Jets play, it's usually a physical game. And the Preds, over the, uh, uh, since the new coach, have been playing pretty stingy defense. Yeah, so. they've been playing physical, too, which is a side of the Predators I don't think we've seen since probably early last year and maybe late the year before that. Yep, um, but this is, this is a good thing, showing <coughs> that they could still do this. Yeah, I hope they can maintain it. Scoring in the uh, first period was Kyle Turris, his sixth, with an assist from Yakov Trennan. And that's all the score. Uh, Trennan's fourth assist of the year. Yeah, that was literally all the score. In net for the Predators was Juice or UC Saros. Um, he uh, stopped 28-28. Way to go, Connor uh, Hallibuck. Uh, and then Connor Hallibuck stopped 31-32 to with a .969 save percentage. Yeah. Uh, referees were uh, Brian Pochmara and Gord Dwyer. Linesmen were Ryan Gibbons. And kill Mer uh, this is Merchinson. This the second game in a row Watson's been a scratch. What's up? I don't know if it's a coaching decision or if it's a uh, no, we're overriding what's hot, what's working. Possible. Because I that's what I noticed. Uh, second game in a row he's been on the scratch list. Um, one thing that I have been hearing out of Winnipeg is they're calling for Paul Maurice's head. So they could have a coach change just like us. So, uh, Paul Maurice is the coach for the Winnipeg Jets. Head coach for Nashville is John Hines. Scratches for Nashville were Austin Watson, Matt Irwin, and Dante Fabro. Uh, scratches for Winnipeg was Luca, Luca Sabisa, Carl Dahlstrom, and Jenskin Harskins. Jenskin Harskins. Um, Carl Dahlstrom, me and you are no stranger to. He played for Rockford for a few years. And then uh, Harskins I was about played to say, for he Winnipeg. And then Winnip Harskin, Jensen Harskins played for Winnipeg last year. Um, so going forward. Don't you mean Manitoba last year? Uh, I could have swore he was on Manitoba last year. Yeah. They beat Winnipeg today, yeah, but I could have swore Harskins played for Manitoba last year. Yep. I could be wrong. 
Oh, right. you're right. That name does sound familiar. I'm almost positive he played for Manitoba last year. All right. So up next for the Predators is kind of a tougher, t not as much of a tougher test, but it is a test. It's going to be a test, man. They're going up against the Edmonton McDavid's. That's right, Connor McDavid. And he's been on fire lately, but they have been he's having... He's always on fire. This kid's going to be special. Uh, the only thing is, is, as good as you are on offense, you he reminds me a lot of Sidney Crosby. Because but Crosby he, cannot he, play defense worth a lick. But at least McDavid's not a crybaby. Yet. Keyword, yet. Hey, don't ruin McDavid, okay? I had illusions of him being a tough player. All right, anyways, uh, Tuesday, uh, Edmonton and uh, Nashville, they play in Edmonton, so that's at 8 o'clock Central uh, Standard Time. Yep. Um, the front line for the Predators is a former Vegas Golden Knights player and former Nashville Predator, James Neal. Uh, he has 8 assists <coughs> and 19 goals. And then Connor McDavid, 46 assists and 24 goals. And then you got Zach uh, Cashin. Cassian. Cassian, he has 13 goals, 15 assists. Um, on that note, he did jump uh, Matthew Kachuk from behind in the game last night. Um, he has a hearing on Monday. With and he the said league. he would do it again because he called Kachuk a punk. Uh, the 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 um the B word um no what uh, a the feline a feline oh yeah yeah the P word yes we're um, trying to keep it clean people use your imagination what's the naughty P word that we can't fix and you referring to a about. cat <laughs> yeah yeah that thing the lady part yes all right anyways there our uh, second forward line consists of Ryan Nugent Hopkins uh, he has 10 goals 18 assists then we got Leon Dreisaitl to the center uh, 44 assists 25 goals and then we got uh, Yamamoto Kyler Yamamoto he just got called up from yeah uh, he has two goals and assists so basically you? just worry about the first two uh, forward pairings the, f the two forward lines is great because their third line is crap. I wouldn't worry about it. I literally played it, Daniel. <laughs> uh, Riley Sheenan, I would worry about, but not too much. He's been kind of gaining traction. He scored four goals in the Mainly really focus on McDavid. Uh, well, if you can shut down McDavid and try saddle, the rest of the team's useless. That's, and that's like the main thing. And uh, keep your eye on uh, Ryan Nugent Hopkins. He's no slouch either. He's actually been one of their better players. I've been keeping an eye on him. Uh, their defensive pairings, psh, nothing. Like, literally nothing. Uh, what is that? Darnell Nurse, he has 17 assists, 4 goals. Uh, Ethan Bear, 4 goals, 11 assists. If you want to consider that a team, a defensive pairing you should worry about, uh, your buddy Oscar Clefbaum, 22 goals or 22 assists and five goals. But other than that, there's nobody on defense to worry about. What? Nothing. They have Seth Jones' little brothers playing third line. So yeah, uh, Edmonton. Hopefully it'll be a victory, but you got some tall. You got a tall order trying to shut down McDavid and Jarosław. Speaking of tall orders, uh, their starting goaltender is Miko Koskinen, all six foot seven of him. Um, and he's no slouch in that either. He has a uh, 14 9 uh, 0 and 2. Uh, he has a 0 .910 save percentage and a 2.90 goals against average. Uh, then we have Mike Smith, who has uh, 24 games played, 10 wins, 9 losses, 3 overtime losses with a 0 .900 save percentage and a 3.01 goals against average. Both of them have one shutout. Mike Smith has one assist. All right, and then uh, next on the docket would be, uh, are you done with Edmonton? Yeah, oh, we also play Rockford on Tuesday. I was Admirals just about play to lead in today. Yeah, the Admirals play Rockford on Tuesday. We are not going to break down Rockford. If you want to recap a Rockford Watch live. our last three videos, literally, because we played them in their last two games, and we did a preview for them. So all you need to know about Rockford is contained in our last three videos. So... Please give us views on those videos. If you also, want with the Admirals sweep this weekend, the Admirals have regained an 11-point lead over the rest of the division. Yeah, it was nice getting two wins in a row. 
because we got a shootout victory, uh, or an overtime victory last night in regulation the night before. Or did I get that confused? Regulation night before, overtime last night. You're good. Uh, yeah, all right, I was right. Uh, well, not last night, yesterday afternoon. Because remember, they screwed up our time and made us have an afternoon game. Yep, for a blizzard that never happened. <laughs> no, it did. I mean, it snowed, but not as much as it would have. It would have been hard to drive home in that stuff, though. I do agree yeah. with that. That snow came down to big flakes and a mess. Well, anyways, yeah. If you want to see our preview for Rockford, uh, watch our last three videos. We're not being lazy. We just don't want to talk about it for the fourth night in a row. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just saying, we have videos that cover it. <laughs> Yeah, we we're, are, we're not being lazy. We already did our work. We're just encouraging you to watch our other videos that we already put the time and effort into. Yep. Nothing wrong with getting other videos views because it's still benefiting us. Also, thank you to all 800 and some odd people. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, you what guys are people. awesome. What is it about us that you guys like? Because I enjoy it that we keep getting our crowd and our audience to go up. Yep. I still haven't figured out what it is about us that you like, but thank you. Yep. Keep and, it up. Uh, so we are uh, from Milwaukee to Nashville. And hopefully we won't be on camera again until Tuesday. Yes, Knock we would. wood. Yes, we would like a day Our off. last day off, we got interrupted by the Peter Lobulet uh, firing. Watch, this next one will be a trade. Shut up. <laughs> Don't make me show you the back of my hand. All right. Well, I have a day off tomorrow. Besides, speaking. we have a hockey game to watch and we got a Packer game to watch. So let's wrap up the video. Also, congratulations to the uh, Tennessee Titans for uh, the upset of uh, Baltimore. Oh, yeah. I was shocked. Can't believe the Titans beat the Ravens. But, hey, everybody knows the Super Bowl is going to be uh, San Francisco versus somebody. All right. So, uh, our show, From Milwaukee to Nashville, is brought to you by wonderful people over at Hockey Locker, 22 West Howard Avenue, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Go check them out at their store. Uh, they're open Spend every... money at their store. Uh, or just check out the store. Spend money. They like money. Well, when you check it out, you're going to be like, ooh, I want this. <laughs> yeah, but make sure you have money when you go. That way you can spend money. All right. Well, that's been our show for today. Hopefully we don't have anything that... Oh! Update. Forgot one thing. Yep. Zach Magwood recalled by the Milwaukee Admirals from the Florida Everblades. We have reassigned Adam Smith to the Florida Everblades. So I was just good. about to say, good, that was on the tip of my tongue, but you remember, good man, good man. Yep, so uh, Magwood has 35 points in 34 games, averaging a point per game. Yeah. So let's see how he does here. We kind of are lacking How a come little. Magwood keeps going back and forth between here and there? How uh, come he can't find a consistent place to be? I think it's just figuring out his game per the levels. So it's just slowly working his way up. Yeah. Uh, Gaudreau did that. Well, yeah, but he was bouncing between here and no, the NHL. No, when we had Cincinnati, he was doing that with Cincinnati. And yeah, but he remember, started doing he started that doing, doing like, last year and the year before, he was doing that with Nashville, back and forth, back and forth. Yeah, story of his that career. Can't be, that can't be good for the player's confidence if he keeps getting bounced around from league to league. I mean, I mean uh, he does have something that not many players can say. Scored his first four goals in his pro career. At, in a playoff game. Yep, so... Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, what was that, a couple years ago when he did that? And he did it in the Stanley Cup. Yeah. So, yeah. uh...